every person on the planet was raised to believe some version of the truth about God, about morality, mortality, about the purpose of life. We usually call those beliefs religion. And if over the course of living, those beliefs break down, if they prove themselves not to be true, we search for a new religion to follow and we convert. Now that conversion can be traumatic, not only for ourselves, our souls, but for those around us. When Christopher Columbus landed in the New World, a Catholic priest was right alongside him. From then on, priests kept coming over to this continent trying to convert the Indians, trying to get them to kiss the crucifix, to stop smoking peyote, to cover up their nakedness. The Indians responded with great enthusiasm. They maimed, tortured, and burned the priests, and then offered the bodies up to their own gods. Any convert, whether he goes from communist to capitalist or from six packs a day to smoke free, ends up condemning his former practices. Because those beliefs didn't work for him, they can't work for anybody. His vision becomes narrow, blinded by the light. Whether he's transformed into a Hindu or joins AA, he becomes a fanatic, if you ask me. It's the fanatics who fuck up the world. It's the fanatics who think they got God on their side. The rest of us, we don't need divine light. In the darker night, all we want is enough light so that we don't stub our toe on the way to the toilet. Ugh! <sighs>